Hey, Rosemary, um, I just watched your video and I know you said make a response, make a response if you watch my video and you want to say something. So this is what I want to do. I, I want to say that your mortar uh, is a perfect example of, of that self positive um, being able to receive that affirmation from outside of ourselves and that mortar that we can make for ourselves, you know, as we're laying down that the baggage, the bricks, the weight, and just the weight of everything that weighed us down all those years, not just physical weight, but every time you take off a pound, I believe you can visually realize you're, you're going to take off some of that old baggage, that emotional weight, um, the, the incorrect um, concepts we have about ourselves that you can take off at the same time you lose that pound of flesh, you can lay down a pound of crap. Um, that you don't need to be carrying. I know that the reason we were big for me had a lot to do with low self-esteem and feeling unworthy. And um, and I fed myself to love myself. Okay, where that started, I do not know. And for the person whose video this is being made for, I ask you to consider why do you think you are so unworthy? Because I understand the concept of beauty and you don't think you're beautiful or when how will you access the belief that you're beautiful okay but that all starts from somewhere and I believe it starts from a sense of uh, feeling like you are not worthy to be allowed to think for a moment you might be enough just as you are in here in your heart in your spirit or that you might not be enough um, in the world of the concept of, of the current concept of what is beautiful in the United States or the world. And I, I just want to say when we can get back to that place and start to tell that little person inside of us, when you can go back and figure out when you started to put on the weight to protect yourself, either somebody took something from you and it was building up to protect or somehow you were just born like me with a place inside of you that was empty that you felt like you were never going to measure up you were never going to be the one who was loved as much as your sibling you were never going to be the pretty one you were never going to be the smart one you were never going to be whatever it was you gotta go back to that place and love that person give that little girl a place to come back to a place of being loved you poor mortar you pour love and affirmation on that little girl that's inside of you who is still there and help her to feel loved and embraced and tell her so. Speak to her as if she's another person and you start filling up her love tank and then I think um, you will find that you'll be able to grow up inside enough. This is just me. This is from some of my, and I'm not a doctor either. Can you really tell? I think you can really tell. Um, but for me, that inner healing place of self-talk and seeing that little you as a different person and loving her um, or the younger you and loving her and affirming her and saying, you are worthy. Think about someone you love, your child, your mother, your sister, your friend, your husband someone that you needed to build up and you would have words to try to build them up see yourself as that little person who you now need to build up and and fill up their love tank and affirm and affirm and affirm what is it they say when you're raising your children for every negative you hear you got to hear bazillion positive to make up for that one negative <laughs> well gosh knows i didn't get any of that growing up and i didn't give a lot of it out either sad to say um but that's reality. So for all the negative stuff we believed about ourselves, that is a lie from the pit of hell. I'm sorry if my religious, my, my spirituality is showing. Just don't mind my spirituality showing. But that's a lie from the pit of hell. Anything that keeps you from being fully uh, aware of your value and your own self and your own value just because you were born into this world called into being by a higher power by the divine creator who had a plan for your life and called you into being now there that's my preaching for the day whatever way you want to package that have it fit into your belief system go for it it makes no difference to me 
but accessed that process, something bigger than you, had a plan and called you into being. A plan for good and not to harm you. So you believe in your heart that you are worthy. You are loved and you are worthy. Just like the person that you love and think is worthy, you're trying to communicate to. Do it for yourself. And then as you grow there, you will start to be able to receive other people speaking into your life and telling you are loved, you are worthy, you are beautiful, you are strong, you are healthy, you are confident. I admire this about you. I admire that about you. You have qualities I think highly of. Think of all the things you would want to say to another person and believe that there are things people want to say to you and take a personal assessment and start to say them to yourself. And the more you say them, the more you'll believe them. It takes time. It takes a lot of time. So I say that to you, being a person who also is insecure about their appearance. Um, or, obviously, as people think I've done a lot of plastics, I obviously have a lot of issues, and people have even voiced to me, oh, well, I hope you're not doing it anymore. You surely don't need to do any. I understand that. I mean, I understand why people would think I, I certainly am not an obsessive person who's going to go back and get tweaked and retweaked. I'm not. I'm done. But... Even as I stand right here, I'm okay with everything. I, I love who I am. Actually, I think I feel better about myself, and I give more affirmation to myself when I look in the mirror now than I get from my spouse. He says nothing more to me than he ever said before, and it's precious little. And it's not the big flowery words that, you know, the kind of person I am wants to hear. It's, you look pretty. You know what? I want him to say, you are beautiful. Wow. Gorgeous. Fantastic. You look stunning. Do you think I'm ever going to hear that? I'm not going to hear that. Not from my hubby. He, can't, he does not have that vocabulary. It's just not wired into him. Sad for me, but thanks to you guys, you make me feel beautiful every day. So, And, and beautiful in here where it really matters. Um, I know you can feel the same. I know you can. Just, it's practice. It just takes practice. So, you're worthy. You are worthy to be loved, affirmed, and feel good about yourself. You're worthy of your place in this community. You are worthy of your place in this world. You are worthy of a pl the place you take in your own life. And you are worthy of a spectacular journey of growth and um, and uh, inner development and, and becoming a whole new you. Congratulations on your 100-pound loss. Um, I know you're going to do the rest. Just give yourself that self-love that you deserve. It's, that's really all I have to say. So why go on, Sally, like you always do? Thanks, Rosemary, for letting me make a, a rebuttal or a recap or a reflect. See you later. Bye.